Josh Hart. Got some new merch working out there. If you want to go by and check out the trailers of the Nitro Mall, RNL, TechNet, Bernie's, his speech out down in Florida. He and Ron Douglas have got that thing solidly in the top five right now, and they'd like to hang on to that spot or even better a little bit, working their way into the countdown to the championship. And for Leah, that big win up in Denver, that's something that that team really needed. They basically started from scratch this year. A lot of new people, not a big, deep database. And they've been kind of picking away, picking away at it. They've certainly had their issues here and there, but Denver, it all came together, and that was a great place for it to happen. Listen, a win, a second-round finish in Sonoma, a semi-round finish in Seattle, th that is the Western swing that uh, most of the teams out here would give a limb for, and they left with it. And we saw, to your point, that maturation process of a brand-new team come all the way to fruition when they won the race up there in Denver. That was a very, very big moment. Tony Stewart currently hanging out at Knoxville this evening. They've got, uh, I don't know, some kind of race going up there. Yeah, some, uh, some, you know, maybe just the biggest sprint car race in the world. Yeah, that. A little flash down there for Josh Hart, 3804 for Leah. Josh Hart goes 376 at 310 miles an hour, but that thing went uh, kabang down there at the finish line. We're going to have to go down and take a pretty close look at that one. And as you would suspect, the numbers from end to end on Josh Hart's run, the most aggressive we've seen, including down to 3.015 at the eighth mile at 287 miles an hour. Let's go down to Jacob on the starting line. All right, here on the starting line with Neil Strasbaugh. Neil, what did you see of your car on the top end? I'm out of the left-hand side of it. Uh, obviously, we thought it would run better than that, so we'll have to go back and look at it. Well, they were right in that 305 area at the 8th mile. Still haven't had a sub three second run as we take another look from the far end of the racetrack. And again, we watch really the two cars looking clean. Pay close attention to the left side because things go instantaneously sour. You saw that brief misfire out of one bank of cylinders just before that happened. It mixed up in a very odd spot, but it will be Josh Hart going to number one with that 376.6 at 310. Could have been a little quicker than that, of course, if things had hung together for him all the way to the finish line. Now for right now, he sits in the number one spot unless somebody can take it away from him. Safety Safari taking care of business down at the far end of the racetrack. While they do that, let's kick things up to the Sunoco Vision. <laughs> 